All right, all right. Hey guys, we're back with a new video, back from a hiatus traveling around Asia. Today we're gonna cover the key takeaways from Dom and Levente's one hour 40 AMA in a very short period of time because I don't know how long this is gonna take yet. <laughs> so let's get cracking. It is here. The Beta Shimmer Network is now live, incorporating some of the new Stardust upgrades straight into the Elta ecosystem. I don't know if you can tell, but I am excited. But why is this so important? Well, Shimmer and Stardust makes IOTA Web3 ready because smart contracts are now center stage. Before we go a single step further, I just want to say make sure you check out the new Network Explorer on the Shimmer website. It is so relaxing to watch and there's like some sort of visual crypto ASMR stuff going on, so check it out. The big edge Stardust gives IOTA is the fact that the metadata of native tokens is immutable. It can never be changed. Now this is actually different to an ERC20 token. An ERC20 token on Ethereum is not a native token, but it's actually a smart contract a ledger within a ledger on iota the tokens created for the token foundry will be native tokens this means they'll be as just as scalable composable and immutable as the native iota token it's actually tracked on the same ledger as miota and treated the same this means you can always be able to understand and be sure of what each token represents this cannot change this makes iota's design so much more eloquent than Ethereum. With Stardust, the architecture of the nodes has evolved. Only the core functionality is now supported by the nodes. Anything outside the network's core functionality is offloaded to separate extension modules. So it's up to each node operator to decide which extensions they wish to use. Basically, the process will be a lot more modular and flexible for each node operator. Omitting some of these processes from the core protocol will increase the performance of the nodes and lower hardware requirements to run a node. Interestingly, Levente stated that IOTA was changing some of its terminology to refer to transactions as <gasps> blocks. <laughs> this may shock some people since IOTA actively doesn't like being called a blockchain, but the IF want to align the terminology used to mirror the market standard wording used in the research space. The smart contract Shimmer EVM chain is currently in alpha testing and some community projects are participating. Now I just want to touch upon the Firefly wallet. The first build of the Shimmer Firefly wallet has been released but it's limited functionality. Native tokens NFTs are coming in the coming weeks but if you want to play with it right now you'll have to use the newly released command line wallet. Look the UI isn't great but we have to walk before we can run. Once smart contracts are released users will use Firefly and also connect to Metamask to create smart contracts. Dom stated that smart contracts were close. Ledger users will be happy to hear that the Ledger integration is almost ready. The IF won't be making the same mistake as Chrysalis where Ledger users had to wait ages to use the latest wallet. So let's discuss some of the latest features. In Shimmer you can now set an expiration time for transactions. If the transaction is not claimed within the set time it is returned to the original sender automatically. This brings a whole host of new use cases. One being increased security Let's say if you want to be extra cautious, you can set an expiration date of a few days. If you do then accidentally send it to an invalid address, once those days pass you'll automatically get your tokens back as they won't be claimed. Now I just want to touch upon the storage deposits. One complaint I've seen for the storage deposits is they basically make micropayments, which was the original focus of IOTA, not really viable. Well, the IOTA have thought about this for Stardust. When you send a microtransaction for the recipient to accept the transaction, the protocol forces the recipient to refund the storage deposit to the original sender. So the original sender basically doesn't have to pay a fee. This is what makes microtransactions on IOTA still viable. One of the most exciting upgrades for me is the fact that smart contracts can now act as an issue of tokens on the chain. This has some mind-blowing new use cases. This means assets can be locked up in a smart contract and then transferred to other chains on the Tangle, meaning you can essentially create layer one chains on top of the Tangle with their own ecosystems, a blockchain of blockchain. 
tokens. Because these layer one tokens are issued as native tokens, there doesn't need to be a third party bridge when they're transferred from layer one to layer two. This is a huge edge for IOTA. Native tokens are so composable and can be transferred across so easily without third party bridges which can be hacked or can be exploited. Now this wouldn't be an IOTA AMA without a Cordicide question. In short, Cordicide won't be on Shimmer initially but it will be introduced slowly over time, module per module. This will likely start to happen once Stardust is done as the devs are currently very busy with Stardust. So what are the next steps? Basically, test, 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 test. <laughs> Shimmer and Stardust need a lot of stress testing before a full release. There is a lot of money on the line. The next big release is the Shimmer EVM, which will bring a lot more smart contract functionality. And then there's gonna be some final small tools. But to temper expectations, I personally think it'll take a few months to test. I think we're looking at quarter four at the earliest for full release. That said, Dom did say he definitely wants to upgrade the IOTA network this year. Whatever the full release date is, it's clear that so much effort and thought has been put into this Shimmer upgrade. The IF members are really passionate about delivering the best DLT possible with limited funds available to them. So I think we should cut them some slack either way. That's all for today. So if you found this useful, please do like and subscribe and there's more videos coming very soon. Thank you for watching.